Welcome back. Oh yes, welcome back to right click to necromance. I mean, almost five years ago to the day I played this game for the very first time. And then in April 3rd of 2019, I asked a question, where oh where did this game go? Why did no one do anything with it? Why is it still this beautiful little gem that just is not living up to the immense amount of potential that it has? What happened to right click to necromance? Well, we're gonna be showing off a couple of things today. First, I'm gonna be showing you the key mechanics here, which essentially you, you, you've you got two buttons at your command. You can left click and right click. Left click is doing this. It's dragging my army across the map and allowing me to surround and then kill enemies. Once these enemies are dead, well, guess what? That's where the other button comes in. You right click to necromance. It's, it's deceptively simple. Actually, it's not deceptively simple. It's very simple. It's a game that's like, easy to understand and kind of hard to master because you have to master yourself right and that's kind of tricky like always making the right decision not getting caught off guard or getting flanked and spanked by numerous armies of enemy soldiers well here we are I'm back in it again and i've got a couple key questions for you guys today but yeah in that april 3rd video like it's sitting at 2.6 million views i think a lot of people just love this game i know i do which is why we're coming back to it after five years of originally like playing it I don't know what the developers are doing. I really don't. I've made numerous videos. Numerous people have made numerous videos and all and many of those videos have just gone absolutely viral. It's a very compelling game and the developers have been silent. They're like, you know what? Yeah, people seem to love it. Guess what we're gonna do? Nothing, right? Now, I'm sure some of you guys are aware <laughs> that we have released our first game, Bot Wars, onto Steam. It's available right now. So make sure to go check that out if you haven't. If you've bought it, let me know what you guys think, man. We've got a Discord group. It's popping off right now. It's been a lot of fun. But what we need to do is continually get these armies. Uh, we might get surrounded right here. But if we can time it right, we won't take too many casualties. And we're just gonna keep swallowing up these little groups. Oh, but there we go. Look, we've got the tier ones. Those are tier two knights to my right, as well as like a necromancer, a wizard. He fires a big green ball of doom and destruction. And he's really good at chewing through our stuff. So what we wanna do is continually to work on our size, get a big enough army so we can fight with our tier ones, these tier twos, which are quite beastly to be quite frank now i believe that you can mod this game my buddy c top uh showed me a picture i think he's modding it literally as we speak so be tuned for that so the question is would you want to see a mod do you want to see more gameplay on it because there's actually like a pretty interesting little cheat code or gimmick one can employ to lower the difficulty level of the game but even more importantly than that i want to ask you a question would you want to see a more fleshed out right click to necromancy game and the follow-up is even more important than that well just as important if you do want to see that what would you add oh my god that is just a giant wave of death we've got to dodge them find an army Ooh, those are medium this is dangerous but we got out of that relatively unscathed i need a few mediums to join me that wizard in mediums is probably the one we want to go for yes oh this worked out perfectly surround and destroy come on we gotta get out of here. Where, where's the last one? Oh God, thank you. There it is, okay. No, 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 no. But uh, kind of getting them to like follow you is the difficult part. The controls are a little frustrating, I think, but maybe that's part of the challenge. You gotta remember that this game was made in 48 hours. The key question, right? Going back to it, circling back. This game is intense, all right? Is if you did want a right click to necromance game. Ooh, okay, I think we got an opportunity here. Kill the wizard. What would you add to it? What kind of features and options would you would you want? All right, I'm gonna try to get this third wizard here. Oh, no, 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 pull out. Oh, wow. The timing of that pull out was strong. Ain't no baby necromancers running around. Now, I don't know if we're gonna win this one. I mean, we should win this one, but is it gonna be worth it? Oh God, oh God, I don't, oh. We've got three wizards and a bunch of mediums, but the armies are just getting, they're getting beefier and beefier. There's a lot of bodies on the ground, which means there's certain groups that haven't been finished off yet. And if I could finish them off, then, well, they would join me. All right, I want this group in the corner. I'll have four wizards. This is interesting. I, I was playing to kind of warm up for this video. And 
I got like one wizard. We're gonna have to heavily rely on that. I need some, a small group of mediums. Okay, this group of three could work. And look at how powerful the wizards are. Oh, okay, that's the group that left its, its units all over the place. Oh my god, it's, it's just chaos though. You feel like a school of fish in other schools of fish, but those schools of fish want to eat you and kill you, right? Keep swimming, just keep swimming. Wizards are super powerful, especially in these high numbers. There we go. Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling juicy. And look at that, there's our first tier three knight right there. We've got tier one, a few tier ones, and tier twos. To have like tier ones at the end of the game is very rare. Most of them will just die. And what is dead stays dead. Avoid, attack. Okay, dodge, dodge, dip, duck, dodge, dive, and die. I guess, we don't, we don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. But it, it's starting to get absolutely hectic. And look, now we have the rock golem. So you're gonna see all units on the board right now. Tier one, tier two, tier three, wizard, and rock golems. And the rock golems come in different shapes and sizes. There's a neutral one in the bottom part of the screen. Let's go ahead and head on down there. But yeah, once again, Bot Wars is out. We've proven that we can make games. You know what? Let's let's try to kill. Should we should we go for him? We got four wizards. Why not? Oh my god, he just crushed my army. Was it worth it? Oh no, it wasn't worth it. Shoot him. You can't shoot from afar. Can you kite them? Nope. You cannot. But you died. Pretty ironic for a necromancer. So let's try again. Hey, there's just so many things in right click to necromance. Like you could change the setting, you could change the units, you could add certain abilities, different types of modes and maps. I think those are all like ideas that don't sound too bad. All right, I want to be a little bit more aggressive. I thought we were pretty aggressive at the beginning in the last one. Because I want to get a rock golem. That's like my goal for this episode is to get a rock golem. I think if we can just gank all these guys at the beginning and be a little bit more aggressive, we can hopefully accelerate the size of our army growing faster than the enemies appearing on the map. Now, that's unfortunate. Every now and then that does happen. So that could be one of those things that could be worked out. Basically fleshing out a game beyond just a 48 hour game jam build. You know, have like the AI be a little bit more refined and a little bit better. Hello there. Get in my necromantic oh my belly God. and die. Oh, that's two groups. I thought that was just one. I think we're doing good, man. I'm feeling pretty happy with it. But I, and that's my question. Do you want right click to necromance? to come out in like a bigger, beefier, chunky, more enjoyable way. Cause honestly you can have a lot of fun, but I feel like after 30 minutes to like maybe two hours, you've kind of met the shelf life of this game. You're like, all right, I've done everything I can do. I've came and done everything I wanted to do. What do I do now? And that really is the question, right? Oh God, no, 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 no. Stop it, stop dying. But yeah, right now the armies kind of have accelerated to a size that I don't know. If, those, if that group of goes north, we are screwed. And now we've got the mediums out here. You could have different difficulty sliders, I think. Now we're going for the mediums. There's a big army right there. We're sort of pushing these guys. I don't want to get involved with that. I'm involved with that. Now my mediums are chopping up tier ones. Can we come out victorious? Oh, yes. Yes, we can. All right, let's get these three mediums here. That's a small group. But mediums, tier, you know, tier twos, mediums. They just do such a good job at chopping up level ones. But now we have them on our side. But I feel like difficulty sliders would be one of the first things I'd do. I'm curious about if you could kind of incorporate this into a campaign. We've played a number of games over the years on this channel where like we've played games where you maybe take control of a necromancer. And they're not as simple and pure of a game as this. But the campaign was kind of interesting. It didn't have the cute art style either. Like, this is just compelling, beautiful oh. contrast. High level of detail, I think, for what it is. Come here. Oh, God. Oh, 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 goodness. No, pull out. And getting your army to, like, group up is tricky. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. We're, like, in the corner of the map. Um... Trying to find a target of opportunity, and that's really what this game is all about, is being an opportunist. Sun Tzu's The Art of Opportunism says, one must be an opportunist to take advantage of opportunities, at least consistently. Oh my god, it's just terrifying how big these armies are right now. Here we go, this is an army we should be able to get. I don't want the mediums to hang around though. Oh my 
god like if they could fight too if you could have like a free-for-all mode that would be pretty interesting like more than just two factions oh man there's an army flanking from the upper left I, I thought we were doing good and maybe I was a little too passive for too long, which basically just means, in my opinion, like we couldn't find the right army to attack. But at some point, like the game just forces you to commit and you can't control, nor can you really predict. Okay, guys, how come I can't necromance this group? Oh no, oh my God, that big army's right here. That last one, that should be the last one. Jeez, <laughs> it's frustrating sometimes, right? But what's more frustrating than losing this game? Because you're like, I'll just play it again. This is free to play and it's down and easy to download, right? It's on itch. Link in the description. But I, I'm trying to think of like, maybe that's why the developers haven't done anything. Because they're like, you know what? It is what it is. It's the best it can be. And we're content with that. Here we go. Get these two. All right. Just keep slapping them. I think that's what we got to do is just continually be aggressive. And I think I let up. Maybe like in the middle of one of my long-winded monologues of just like, how I'm so excited that Bot Wars is out and that I'm making games. And you can get Bot Wars now on Steam. And that I'm making more. And we can make more, so give me the ideas. What games, like, that's the fun part, right? We've always sort of like had this interesting relationship, I feel like, here on the channel. Is we would play games. We talk about what we like, what we want to change, what we'd want to add. And then we'd sort of, in some cases, we got to talk to the developers like Landfall and they would like implement them. But more often than not, you know, it was just like, it was just words and not much really happened with it. But now it's different. Now I'm a developer. And if I want something done, like all I gotta do is just do it. You know what I mean? Isn't that exciting? Hot diggity dog. It, this is probably like the most excited I've ever been in my life, uh, it, work wise. Okay, I don't wanna fight those mediums yet. We don't have a, a decent army where we could favorably trade lives. We'll eat these lights, constantly harassing. Yeah, see, right now I'm like, I'm stuck. Where do I go? Who do I fight? There's no obvious choice. Well, there is an obvious choice right over here. Okay, I thought that was one big group, but it turned out a small group and a medium-sized group. Oh, and this is three knights. Oh, this is more than three knights. I'm not ready for that. I lost a lot. I lost a lot. Ugh. There's like two little guys. There's the mediums. Who do we go? Who can we reasonably take out? I feel like difficulty sliders and maybe some form of like a game mode would be very interesting. I think multiplayer is a curious idea. I don't entirely know how it would work. Like, could you, would you be playing King of the Hill sort of? Now we're in the middle, literally surrounded by just big armies. Yeah, once again, we, we've got to that point where we plateaued, but the enemy got too strong. But yeah, you can mod this game. Modding could be fun, but I feel like it only be, we'd only be changing like the graphics, like what units would be fighting. I guess we could try to ch chip off one of these guys Ooh, they're coming up here yeah i'm i'm endangered species right now oh oh my all right i'm gonna try to get this wizard in these two knights i trapped him against the rock he's got a lot of health though okay that's good that could be the breakthrough that we needed oh we raised a guy down there that's two groups actually isn't it yeah but I don't think I can trade very well with them. The rocks make it interesting. Like having different maps, I think would probably be the first thing you do. Cause the rocks like having like where terrain has a bigger impact would be interesting. All right, let's kill these guys. The wizard and its ranged attack should make this somewhat better. We got some mediums there. Oh, that's a wizard guarded by like tier three units. Here we go. Yeah, but I, I feel like you have to have a certain level of aggression. And part of it, I think, is a little too RNG. It's a little bit too difficult, right? I, I want to work my way in, but I guess that's part of the charm of the game. All right, we got to get out of there, get out of there. Oh, we got trapped and we might lose our wizard. Tier three's right there. Here we go. Let's, oh, it's so rough. They've already got rock golems guarded. <laughs> Here's a group of five. This is a rare thing. Like, what if you could upgrade your unit's speed? Attack damage, right? Sort of like, you, I guess you could incorporate some RPG mechanics to the game. Kill this wizard. Yeah. Maybe like being able to passively spawn units. Uh, you could have a campaign where like, it's medieval village themed, right? Because if necromancy, I just feels like it's best with medieval theme. You know, the dark wizard, like raising the people in the cemetery to take over the king's castle, that kind of a, uh, rough idea. Oh, is that a rock golem by himself? But there is a way to lower the difficulty unofficially. Oh, we're dead. 
This is bad. And the fact that the enemy doesn't like do much against each other kind of sucks. Ooh, big hits. There we go. That actually, we're not dead yet. Oh, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Wizards, follow me, please. I do like the look of those tier three guys. They Their helmets look awesome. Those knights right there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> But I'm still scared, and there's a lot of blue bodies on the ground. Oh my god, are we just gonna get surrounded here? Our fate is in the hands of the gods now. As we just cringe to life, try to clutch it. Uh, alright, that's a group of ones. Oh my god, and threes just patrolling like, Oh, we're gonna protect our little friends here. Well, you can't protect these ones. Yeah, some of those guys are- Oh look, they- They were down there, and now they've joined us. Nice! Is that a group of twos? There's too many tier threes out there, and we attack so slowly. Oh my god, look at this. How do you- how do you maneuver? But I love it. It's great, and it can be improved on. I know it can, and I know this is a gem of a game. And I want to do it. There's so many developers out there that are like, you know what? There was a game that I really liked, and uh, I thought they didn't do certain things, or they didn't do it how I would have wanted to do it. So I just went out and did it. Oh god, the giant, if he gets in here, that rock on him. And I feel like that's why games get better over time is that kind of a mindset. I don't think we could take that army at all. We do have our first tier threes now, joining our forces. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Flank and spank, surround is some of the principles of like Empires of the Undergrowth is what we're incorporating. All right, I think we have a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. It's just how good of a chance do we have? Rock golems are starting to pop up all over the place. I think we need to get a few little baby golems before we attack that big rock golem. Maybe that was the mistake that was made. Hey, I wish you could lure them like if you had a special abilities. Like a Q, W, E, R. You know, four abilities and you could kind of RPG that. Oh my god, like look, look at this. Alright, we're going after these tier threes. I think this matchup favors us. Gentlemen, save them all, hurry! You need to be quick about it. Now get these guys. Yes. All right, this is a big one, but if we get those threes... Uh-oh, uh-oh, pull back, pull back, rock all them, rock all them. Ambush the twos. Well, it didn't really let us ambush them. Hit and run, hit and run. Look at these little tier ones running around. You in the wrong neighborhood now. Oh, some of them spawned in over there. All right, and one of the other things you got to do is protect your wizards. Right now, they're on, like my flank, uh, like, the front line, and I don't want that, so it's like, maneuvering is tricky. You can't control it like an RTS, which I kind of like, but at the same time, sometimes you wish you had a little bit more control than you do, so that you don't lose your best freaking units. Come here! We ain't want none of that. That's a group we'd like to fight. Tier twos and threes. I wish I could have fought them one at a time, maybe we jumped in a little either too late or too early, but it worked out. Ooh, let's fight them. Oh my god, that's two groups. But I think the wizards should make all the difference. This is the riskiest battle, and the more that join, the worse it gets. Now, we're probably gonna lose a wizard. Actually, we might lose them all. That might be it. That's it, folks. We bit off more than we could chew. And maybe we're biting off more than we could chew with the idea of should game two be the spiritual successor to right-click to the necromance. Well, I mean, that's a question for you guys. Should we do it? Or should we look at other game ideas? And if we did do it, what would you add? What features would you want to see? Well, let me know. And if you guys do want to see more right-click to Necromance, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.